that was for me the day where I decided, hmm, I might have to go back and maybe try to get my record back because Danny Arnold climbed it in two hours, 28 minutes. In 2008, I free climbed the whole face and I didn't have like any tracks in the face. That was my my goal to climbing like that and uh, it was a huge effort. And this time I was just curious to see in this kind of conditions and also pulling the gear like everybody else does, what, what time I can do like in a safe way. I remember like in 2008 when I free climbed it and doing the breaking the trail I had like my maximum heart rate was about 190 uh, and this time I would consider I was not no, never higher than 165 so it means there's a huge progress now. When you're the fastest up there, it's like, I mean, of course, that that feels really, really good. But we have to be honest, like these records, they're like, climbing is not a competition and it's so many other like factors who count, like conditions, uh, uh, temperature, weather, and being like six minutes faster than, than Danny, I think that's, that's nothing. That's like, that's not the big step. I think the, the fact is like it will be climbed in under two hours very soon. So I think that's possible in its good conditions. But also I think the athlete has to be willing to take quite a lot of risk.